I'm willing to put all chips on the table, put everything on my back, and, and try to lead this city to what they really believe that we can do. And I really feel like I can go out and get the talent to come in here and play and win, like I say, and win championships for the school. You no, know, it's not just going to happen because I'm Anthony Hardaway and I'm going to be a, a college coach and kids are going to be falling in my lap. I have to go grind, I have to go work, but I'm willing to put that all in, uh, put the work in and, uh, and, and prove the critics wrong. That was just over 13 months ago. Penny proving the critics wrong will ultimately come with winning, with returning to the NCAA tournament, making a serious run in said tournament, but recruiting. Recruiting top players is a massive part in all of that. And right now, Penny is crushing. Today, grad transfer Ray John Tucker is using Memphis over Kansas, Auburn, West Virginia, and Iowa State. Tucker did clarify tonight that he's not pulling his name out of the NBA draft. It's NBA first, and if it doesn't work out, then Memphis is his college of choice. Now, we've already seen that Tucker can flat out ball at FedEx Forum. He put up 29 points for Little Rock when they played Memphis here last December, made four threes, which pretty much sums up the kind of player he is. The 6'5 combo guard shot 41% from deep last season and averaged 20 points. Now, he won't count towards the Tigers' 2019 class ranking, so as of now, their class remains the fifth best in the country. But Tucker's addition is huge. He gives the Tigers veteran experience in the backcourt, and combined with yesterday's commitment from four-star guard Lester Quinones, Penny is showing that he can recruit top players from outside of Memphis. Plus, these two in particular give the Tigers true shooters to put around their unicorn number one player in the 2019 class, James Wiseman. And the hope is that this ain't it. The Tigers have had their eyes on a handful of top 40 2019 players, while RJ Hampton now trends towards Kansas and Trenton Watford towards LSU. Precious Achua and Boogie Ellis remain solidly in the mix, and Penny and his staff have some help in their recruitment. With James being there, uh, I'm going to go and try to recruit two more guys with being Precious Achua and Boogie Ellis. Those two, I'm going to try to get them to come join me. So uh, the fans deserve it. They've been great. Um, and they, they just really deserve another winning team again. And hopefully I'll, I'll come to bring them a national championship. So what was Penny doing while all of this went down this fine evening? Well, he was on Instagram showing off his new wine cellar, which looks pretty Almost impressive. The only that. question is which bottle was used to celebrate tonight. Hope mom likes basketball.